What's up guys? You're watching Dan's How To Videos and today is a really cool and interesting video personally for me. I just picked up Windows 8 Pro and I've got it set up on my computer here. So what I'm going to do in this video guys is unbox this, give you a quick look at what's inside the box as well as give you a first look at Windows 8 right here and show you guys how to install it. Let's get started. Alright, so we've got Windows 8 Pro here and you can see there is a window on the front. So we'll go ahead and cut the plastic on the outside and remove the packaging. So the window looks kind of cool when you open it up. It's got a blue background there. We'll just set that to the side. We'll open up the box now. First thing you're going to see is a welcome card and this is basically going to be the instructions on the back side of your instructions. Next you've got a 32-bit CD as well as a 64-bit CD. On the right side you have your Windows 8 product key card and this is probably one of the most important pieces to this. Do not lose this card. Without it you cannot install Windows 8. Alright, now we're going to start on the setup process for Windows 8. I'm running an i3 processor here. This is running Windows 7 so the setup process is going to be very easy. Now if you're running XP or anything else you're going to have to go through a couple of different steps. I'm not going to be able to show you that here because I am running Windows 7. And we're going to follow the steps on this little blue card here to get started. This is the blue card with the welcome on the back. Now you're going to need to choose either your 64-bit or 32-bit uh, CD. Now if you don't know which one you have to use, you just enter or we'll just plug in the 32-bit uh, 32 CD, 32 CD and it'll pop up depending on which one you need and it'll let you know, which is good. So we're going to do the uh, Windows 32. We're going to play with that one first. Also make sure you have your card with your product key on it. This is important, otherwise you're not going to be able to uh, install the CD. Now the first thing I would recommend you do that is not on this little blue card here is to actually get yourself some type of backup software or backup hard drive and back up your system just in case, unless you don't care. But uh, I went ahead and plugged in, I have a WD My Passport Elite and it's a 500 gigabyte uh, backup storage system here so I went ahead plugged that in backed up my software everything on here so now the process is just as simple as following the instructions so number one on the little blue card here says to insert a disk and basically you can choose either the 32 or 64 bit if you're not sure enter the 32 and they're gonna go ahead and let us know if we need to insert another one so we'll go ahead and do that all right so the CD is in and an autoplay feature popped up here on the Windows 7 and it'll basically allow me to run the setup. So I'm just gonna do that. You're gonna need to say yes to this little pop-up. Now this one says here, use the other installation disk that says 64-bit. When you insert it, Windows Setup will restart automatically. So that's what I was talking about if you don't know which one of the two CDs to use, that it'll let you know. So we'll go ahead, switch it up, we'll put the 64-bit CD in, and uh, we'll be able to get started with the setup. Great, we've got the 64-bit setup CD inside. Again, the pop-up will pop up. Now, if your pop-up window doesn't pop up here, just go into your My Computer, go into the CD drive, and double-click on that. It'll open it up. Just follow all the steps again, just like we did when I had the 32-bit CD in, and we'll just wait for Windows to actually set up the install. All right, so it says to go online and install the updates now, which is recommended. So you can do this. We're gonna go ahead and click next so we can install all the updates. It's gonna check for them. Put in the code here, which is on the back of your little key card here. This is gonna be your product key, so we'll go ahead and enter that in. You wanna accept these terms. Click accept. Now, you can keep your Windows settings, personal files, and apps. Keep personal files only or nothing. We're gonna go with nothing because I backed everything up, so I'm okay with everything being deleted. So it's gonna go ahead and install Windows 8 Pro. It says don't keep anything. It's gonna change selection if you want to, but again, I'm okay with this, so I'll click install, and this is gonna take a while, so I suggest you guys have your power cable plugged in. This is very important, especially if you have an older laptop where the battery isn't as strong as when you first got it. Keep the power cable plugged in. You should be good to go. This is gonna take a while. So I'll go ahead and pause the video and come back when it is done. Finally, it started up, so you need to pick yourself a PC name. We'll just call it Dance PC for now. You can pick a color, but you'll be able to personalize this later, so we're just gonna go ahead and click Next. Okay, now you need to set up your internet connection here, so we're gonna go ahead and log into mine here. We'll go ahead and click Connect. Now, if you have a password, you'll need to enter that. And once again, when you're done, you'll go ahead and click Connect. 
we're gonna go to the express settings we don't care right now and you can change these later on as well now you're gonna need to enter an email address to set up as a Microsoft account to sign in with Windows they're not gonna send you spam we're gonna go ahead and use our email here so we'll enter that once you've done that click next it'll take you to the checking for a Microsoft account now if you don't have it you're gonna need to set it up now you're gonna need to enter in your date of birth phone number alternative email secret question and uh, we'll go through this and once you've done that hit next all right, so it's about to finish up here. Now you can click to enhance your online experience by letting Microsoft Advertising use my account for information. I'm not gonna do this. Uh, it's gonna say, send me promotional offers from Microsoft. You can unsubscribe anytime. And no, I don't need any more spam in my email. Go ahead and click next. And now you have to enter in this little captcha here. Click next. All right, so Windows has finally completed the installation process and I'm really excited about this. This is a lot like the Windows Mobile or Windows 8 Mobile operating system. It looks really cool and uh, I, lo I love these tiles, how they just flip around. As things are happening, you can actually see the tiles will flip up. News just changed here about NHL.com. This one just changed. It's just really cool how that works. And uh, it's like accessing everything from one page. And this is really cool if you had a touch screen. I'm sure you could just go ahead and touch along these tabs and they would open up. It's probably really good with the Microsoft Surface. Anyway, let's go and take a look. It's said to go to the right side. And this is, I guess, where all your information or navigation outside of these little boxes is gonna take place. So you have a search feature, you have your share, and your start. Now, this start will take you back to the start menu here because if you go into any of these, let's go ahead and jump into desktop. This is basically your desktop, looks a lot like Windows 7, Windows XP, um, all the older windows. This is the standard. Now, if you look at the bottom left, if you can see that, there isn't an actual start menu here. That's been taken away. So if you wanna access the start, it's now like this. You go to the top right and you've got your start menu on the right side. You would tap that and it would take you here because this is the new start page. Now at the bottom we've got settings. Now this is a lot like Android. I have never used a Windows phone so I'm not sure if it actually looks like this but I know Android just updated and uh, if you swipe down at the top from Android on the right side you get like a quick settings tab and this is really cool. I really like that on the Android so definitely going to be useful here. So you have your Wi-Fi, you have your sound, your brightness, notifications, power, and keyboard. You can change your PC settings if you would like. Let's go ahead and take a quick look at Internet Explorer. That's always fun. And as you can see at the bottom here, you now have your search bar at the bottom rather than on top. It looks really clean. And uh, you know what? I wouldn't mind actually using this uh, Windows Explorer just the way it looks here. Now, if I want to actually go, let's go to Google and see how that looks. It's probably just going to look the same. That's pretty good. You just type it in, it'll pop up there with the different pages. All right, so it's pretty simple. It looks exactly the same. You've just got your bar at the bottom. That's the only difference from any other browser. Let's go ahead and take a look at maps. I like how the tiles just flip around and open up like this. Now you can set up location services. I'm not going to do that. So maps is pretty straightforward. There's not much I can actually show you with this. It's pretty standard stuff. Like it just, the way it looks and the way it's set up, this is the big change with windows everything moving around and especially if you had a touch screen or something you could definitely uh, use it like that let's go and open up the camera it's going to access the web uh, webcam and microphone we'll go ahead and allow it all right so the webcam is on and you can see all my mess of boxes over there don't mind those let's go back to the start screen here and uh, this is pretty much it. There's not much else I could show you guys unless you want to see a specific video. If you want some quick how-to videos on the Windows 8, leave a question down below in the comments section. And if you found this helpful or interesting, let me know in the comments as well. I'd really like to know what you guys think of Windows 8 just from this quick example. Or if you guys own Windows 8, let me know what you think in the comments. I'm really excited about Windows personally. And uh, hopefully you guys uh, enjoyed it again. If you did, hit that like button down below. Subscribe up top for more videos. And I will see you guys in the next one.